a fidget toy, it's a scrap buster and it's super quick. Hi, I'm Emma from Studio 77 and on this video I'm going to show you how to make this super cool fidget toy. It's a great project that can be made out of woven fabric or jersey fabric. I'm going to show you step by step how to make the woven version, but don't forget to stay to the end because I'm going to show you through the little things that I learned making it out of jersey and which I prefer. So let's go. For the marble run you will need some woven fabric, a marble, mine is 5 eighths of an inch across, a ruler, a friction pen, a rotary cutter, small snips or scissors, pins and matching thread. I use a different thread colour in the top and bottom and you'll see why later. Cut two squares measuring 5 and 3 quarter inches by 5 and 3 quarter inches across. Place them right sides together, pin and stitch around the edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Remembering to do a back stitch at the beginning and the end to secure your stitches. Next you need to snip the corners for turning by cutting off triangles of seam allowance on the two corners away from the opening. Turn the square the right way out and pull out the corners gently. I like to use a pin for this but be careful you don't want to pull the fibres apart. Press the square so that the seams lie nice and flat and press the seam allowance of the opening under by quarter of an inch. This can be fiddly but it makes it easier for sewing when you come to it in a minute. Once it's all nicely pressed, place the marble inside the square and pin the opening closed. Stitch all around the square 1 16th of an inch from the edge. Once stitched closed, we need to mark the channels. Each channel needs to be one inch wide to enable the marble to pass through. You can choose how you make these channels, but the simplest way is to stitch each channel stopping one inch before the end, alternating the ends. So you need to draw on with your friction pen these channels. I also add a little mark to show the stopping point, making it easy to see when you're at the machine. Continue down the square until all the channels are drawn. Stitch these channels moving the marble as you go so that you can keep the channel lines accurate. I didn't use pins to hold the squares together, but please do if you need to, especially if you're not using a walking foot on your machine. It's really important. I use different colours on the top and bottom threads as this alters the play factor. Having the thread very obvious makes it easier to see where to push the marble for younger players. Having the thread less visible makes it more challenging for the older children. Finally, don't forget to iron or hair dryer the marks on the friction pen away. So I just wanted to take you through the few things I learned from doing it in the jersey fabric. For jersey you definitely need a walking foot. I didn't use a stretch stitch and found that a regular straight stitch is fine and doesn't break. You will need to make the channels smaller at 3 quarters of an inch wide. So you would start with two squares at 4.5 inches to begin with and then you will use the same seam allowance as the woven fidget toy. I've altered the channels on this one as you can see so definitely play around with how you want the openings for the marble to be. I think the jersey is a bit nicer because you're pushing against the fabric. You're not trying to squeeze it through a tightly woven space. The jersey gives and allows the marble to go through. So it's totally up to you what you use but the jersey is a great all-rounder. Thanks so much for watching. Coming up on the screen right now are some more scrap busting projects that I think you're gonna love. I'll see you on the next video.